Hi, this is Vaughan in Nova Scotia at Westcote Bell Pottery. I'm going to unload uh, a very special kiln unloading. We only do about three or four of these a year. Uh, my wife is the painter who does all the artwork on the pieces. I just throw the work itself, make the forms. Um, but 99% of the work in these pieces is, you know, the painting. Um, and so uh, I'm going to... Uh, uh, Put these there at the end of the video if anybody sees anything that they like before they go in the gallery uh, I'll actually um, let you guys see if there's anything you would like as well since we've been settling quite a few pieces on uh, from these videos I feel like you guys are uh, sort of slightly special now so uh, so anyway um, if you see anything you want in here uh, some of them are already sold uh, but if you see anything you like just let us know anyway this is a cone 04 earthenware firing. Um, we bisque this red clay up to cone 01 uh, and then it's very dense. It's a red clay, uh, much harder than earthenware normally is. And then we glaze it down to 04 um, with a totally lead-free glaze that's um, safe for food. Um, and uh, basically, uh, you know, I'll try and show you these pieces as they come out of the kiln, but I'll take some photographs too later on. All right, so there we go. I think you can see this is a small kiln. Uh, I think it's about three and a half cubic feet. All right, so these are lids for two urns that are pre sold, they're ordered basically. Um, there you go, it's got a little dachshund dog on the top. Here's the other one. There you go. These are going to be shipped out to a customer in Maryland. This is the lid to a little jar that is already sold as well. This is the lid to another jar which is not sold. This is just my wife having fun painting. And there's a nice bird on the top there, as you can see. I'm being very careful with these. My wife spends a huge amount of time painting a coffee mug. Um, there you go. These are the two bottoms for the two urns. Just little bases, like mini pedestals for the pieces. And that's the bottom again for another one. It's got little leaves painted on the grass all the way around. Okay, so um, this is the next layer down in the kiln. Um, these are fired on stilts, and as I said, this is a red clay earthenware that we use. Um, this is another little urn. My wife paints these. This one, I think, is for a cat. There you go, there's the lid that goes on it. Okay, then we've got, getting very careful when I pull these out because there are stilts underneath and they barely hold on. Um, these are Scrofito mugs that my wife carves. And it's done with red clay, white clay, yellow clay, and then black clay over the top. And she has to use her pressure on the tool to carve just to the right depth to show what color she wants. So these are quite tricky to do, and all that. And these ones sell for 75 Canadian, which is about 55, I think, maybe six, 55, 60 US. There's only one of those in here. 
shows how often she does these. Now these are paintings. They are literally just painted one at a time. And she uses, people have asked about these paper stencils that we use in our techniques. And Jackie paints an area and then uses a paper over that crow in the shape of a crow to actually put, paint the area and then put the paper over the top so she can then paint over the whole area. Same with the cat. But it's basically painted with a paintbrush. And these ones would be, would end up be 65 US, whatever that comes out. I think if we put them at 90 Canadian, I think it's 65 US. My wife is a children's book illustrator, but she hasn't done any in 10 years or more. Um, so she now paints purely on paper, canvas, or clay. And you can see, I'll, I mean, it's hard to see these. I'm not sure if the detail shows up or not. I'll look myself. How close can an iPad get? So all these hand-painted ones would end up being 90 Canadian. About 65 US, I think it is. But they're one-of-a-kind paintings. I mean, literally nobody else will have this anywhere. I know one of these is sold, but I don't know which one because we have a customer who's been asking us to let her know as soon as they come out of the kiln. I know my wife usually puts these in her studio and keeps them back. And they're signed right under the handle there. I'm not sure if you can see that or not. The stilts just drop off these. For some reason, this clear glaze that I use, this is the best clear glaze I have ever found. I developed it from two different glaze recipes and mix them together 50-50. And I've never done the maths to actually figure out what the actual recipe is. I mix both glazes up and put them together. But it's completely transparent. It is no lead in it whatsoever. It's mostly ghostly borate and um, there's a frit in there too. I think it was 31-34, but I can't remember for sure. So she uses just a tiny little paintbrush. They, they're like zero zeros um, and even a triple zero for some of the detail because she'll paint the grass in there, the little dots, the leaves, the veins of the leaves. Okay, then there's a different style of mug that I throw for her, which is a, a more elegant shape. <coughs> I'm preheating two kilns, so that's what all the clicking is. I hope you can see the detail because it's minute and it's intense with her pieces here. She layers the, the actual colors for the washes first before she paints and then she uses those pieces of paper once she's got an area painted. I'm taking my time on these because they're just beautiful. And because there's only one, there's a signature on that one to see a little clearer. clearer. This is only one of each one. They're totally unique.
So literally, give me the timestamp. If there's one of these you like, I can ship. I just shipped two mugs to KDJ in Australia this morning. Not of these, they were the beer tankards. Isn't that incredible? She does these because she just, you know, loves doing them. I mean, they just take so much time to do. If this was on paper as a painting, it would be $300, I'm sure. But it's always been... The curse of pottery is that it's undervalued. I mean, I make a mug like this, basically, and sell it for, you know, $26 just as a plain glazed mug. And then she puts in, she can usually paint maybe two of these a day. This is the last mug. There might be one underneath. Oh, she's got the lobster boat because we're on the water here and a whale. So, you know, 65, 69 is what we get usually US, and $90 is the Canadian one. So it's whatever you, your dollar exchange if it's going to the US comes out at. I've had props fall off the kiln shelf, off here on, into the kiln and break pieces. I've learnt my lesson though, so I'm much more careful. There's four more mugs. So let's do those first. Here is a horse. I know somebody wants a horse. This may be the one that's sold. I'm not sure, but. Another seascape. Lobster season finishes May 1st, I think, in Nova Scotia right here. The glazing on these is perfect too. Sometimes the glaze, if it's thick, will go a little cloudy, but hardly noticeable. But this is perfect. I thinned the glaze down as I was glazing. But you can see it's very transparent and very shiny. Well, there's our little kitty. We have a lighthouse right next to us here, so we often put lighthouses in. And this is definitely the last coffee mug. Let's lift this out so it still doesn't fall off. Ironbound Island is near us, and it raises sheep. They raise sheep on Ironbound Island. Jake Wenzel does that, and uh, so... That's why we end up putting sheep in our pieces right here. Plus, I'm from Yorkshire in England, so sheep are in my blood. So there you go. That's all the mugs. So if you want one of those, just send us the timestamp or a... Uh, Look at that, or a uh, screenshot. I'll need a telephone number, email address, and full address for shipping, if there's any of those you would like.
and you can call me, my telephone number is at the end of the video, with a credit card number, or you can do PayPal. This is amazing, this is just beautiful. And this has one of those stands, I'll photograph it and put it at the end of the video. But you're, you're seeing the full, all the way around, 360 degrees here. Photograph just shows one side. And these two are sold. No, actually the one I just showed you is one of the sold ones. This is the one that isn't sold. I don't know what the price of this one is, my wife will have to tell me. It's got a lid and a stand. I'll, I'll give you a quick look after I've done this just to show you the where they are. And the last one, and this one's sold too. Um, it's a sad reason for having to buy a piece of pottery, but um, this person is buying it for their partner, and it's uh, what a beautiful thing to actually buy for them to spend eternity in. And there's the little dog that they had. And there's the, the grouping. All right. So, um, this is the bunch. So just let us know. And um, I will... Uh, Probably won't be doing another batch like this until sometime mid-summer. We do three, maybe four times a year we'll make pieces like this because Jackie has lots to do. Anyway, um, thanks for joining me in Nova Scotia. It is freezing out there. March 15th. But then it's still winter, isn't it? So, Alright, thanks for joining me.